So Natalie Nunn invites Tommy and a few other friends to the Chris Brown concert. She also was able to get passes to go backstage while everyone was having a good time and drinking. So by the time they got backstage, they were pretty much drunk. They were loud, doing too much, you know, bad girl fashion. And at the time that they went backstage, Chris Brown's son was backstage and he was in a room and Tommy and Jonathan saw Chris Brown's son and they walked over to the room to say hi to him. And the mom slams the door in their face, which I don't blame her. Y'all was probably doing way entirely too much for her and she was trying to protect her son so I probably would have did the same thing so I ain't even knocking her. So Tommy gets mad now that Chris Brown's baby mama slams the door in their face so she starts banging on the door shouting at the door with the baby in the room. What are you doing? Now Chris Brown's security hear commotion they come over to where they are now Jonathan is now arguing with the security guard. He gets into a fight with the security guards now and now Tommy is banging on the door. Jonathan is fighting Tommy. We went to the Chris Brown concert we had a time the time of our, our life natalie got us backstage with chris brown once we was headed to our section with chris brown and a little back no. to wait till you're done why the f did tommy see chris brown baby and was like oh her but his baby is so cute and they grabbed the baby and put him in the room she smacked the door in they went ballistic why would you do something like that and it put me and jonathan and, and natalie. natalie in danger we literally had to fight off three different because of what Tommy did, and she was drunk. She's starting. I don't even know that high. I'm in a row. This is the second time. And we are in London, guys. We are in London, time. and then she started to, to proceed to scream out, F "Chris Brown's baby, F Chris Brown baby!" Like, why would you say something like that? And then what she started saying that, that's when everybody got active. Is because you're being weird and you're drunk as. F and you're not about to sit here and act like nobody. Like we're with you when you literally did what the f you did there's no way in hell i would allow you to break down my door with my privacy of my concert where my son is staying at where my kid and my mama talking about some oh chris brown's son is is cute and then when they close the door on her she smacked that mother door and, and you're a weirdo wait, wait, let me say something now and here's the thing when it all comes back on me, me because i got us backstage so everybody looking at me like natalie who are these people? No, they knew who the fuck was. They were like, she got to go. Right. They didn't have no problem with Rolly. They had no problem with Jonathan. They had no problem with me. So this all and started today, from, from the Chris up. Brown concert, and which Jonathan I spent most of it to trying to help her find her phone because she lost it too geeked up. Don't know who I am. We find the phone. I asked her about some pain medication for my teeth. You the only person I asked. You try to get me to ask you sucking out they crew hood like you don't know hood no why would i know hood why would i know oh, a security for somebody else no i don't know him so i'm like no and don't you know what i'm saying why would i need to ask him about something i just asked you if it ain't like they don't oh this is chris brown's look man this is the one who get he got everything i don't need everything i just need something for my teeth so bomb we coming out it's my right. gonna oh, break on the right. concert so we go into the back. Jonathan say, oh, this the baby. Like saying it's Chris Brown's son. So I say, oh, that's the baby. I go to the room and say, oh, that's the baby. The slam the door in my face. Uh, the baby mama, whoever it was, she slams the door in my face. So I'm laughing. I keep walking. Now Jonathan into it with they security guard. Like Chris Brown. They like, don't do that. That's the baby. Da -da -da -da. Ain't nobody coming with no guns and no knives trying to attack the baby. We just like, oh, the baby. Cute. Uh. It was nothing. It's not a big deal. They keep arguing. They finna hit. My old boy tell me, man, Tommy, you know if this shit go left, it's just gonna be on you. They gonna try to make it like you did something. Let's go. Your car's outside. Let's go. So I rock with that. I'm out of here. Let's go. Tommy did something. Tommy did. Tommy ain't do nothing but say, ooh, that's a baby and a clamp the door in my face quickly. And ain't no pressure. Cool. I, I know how I am by my kids. You don't want nobody to see your baby. Cool. I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking baby. Fuck your baby. And f his daddy too. What the f <laughs> really? I know that's right. 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 Like girl, I ain't pressed by no motherfucking baby. F him. All y'all look all bino as f fuck all of y'all motherfuckers. Oh my god. That baby look like he got a little something going on with I'm scared of the baby bitch. Oh my my eyes caught like a pistol. Bitch. I don't care about that baby. We backstage, Nelly and mother Tommy. They over her they don't went over her acting like boom boom. They came back drunk as me and Rolly over I wasn't drunk. Too. I didn't I mean, I'd have been drinking. Well, both of y'all looked drunk to me. 
So at the end of the day, we walking through, we walking through backstage. Y'all already know. Y'all already know I be working with real superstars. So like backstage is like, you know what I'm saying? When you in backstage, you got different rooms. So it was one room with Chris Brown kids, and I guess there's people in there. And it was another room. I mean, so we walked past the Chris Brown baby walked to the door, walked to the door. I'm like, oh, that look like Chris Brown. I'm in the head of the line. Y'all already know I'm leaving the mother pay per usual. So I'm in the head of the line. I'm like, oh, that look like Chris Brown baby. Oh, um, Maddie just turned around like, oh, that is his baby. Tommy and this um the boy that she was with um was like in the back. And then Tommy walked to the door and was like, I mean, Tommy was like, oh, that, that is Chris, I mean, that is Chris Brown, baby. Let me see the baby, let me see the baby. So she went to the door to try to um, see the baby, but they closed the door. So she was like, I don't want to see the baby anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, she don't want to see the baby, so you know what I'm saying? So did she try to push the door open, or? When she, when she motherfucking, when she motherfucking, um, Natalie, when they closed the door, try, she hit the door. I'm like, about just, to say you know something. I'm, I'm just letting but you talk from the beginning. I don't understand why, like, it wasn't even that. That y'all said talking about the push to the door. It wasn't even no focus on pushing the door. Yeah, she hit the door, but the mother focus was the dude got mad because she was talking to the child. That, and then it wasn't that. So I fought like bitch. I fought. I beat the shit out of Chris Brown team. Sorry to tell you. Yeah. Um. The, so Tommy and them cussing. Tommy getting into it with the dude. I mean the dude. The dude cussing them. Tommy and them out. But Tommy and them like I don't give a fuck about that baby. Like I don't give a fuck about Chris Brown baby. Like. On me, boom, boom, boom. So the dude kind of got. But Tommy disappears after that. Let me Said talk. Said all that. Let me talk. I don't know. This, this I'm out there fighting. Yeah, yeah, we are, we were there because you were about to get arrested. So look. <laughs> so we. So I um. So we go into a room with hood. We sitting down. Boom. You know. The dude still talking shit. So Tommy started back talking shit to the dude. I don't know where they disappeared. So I went to check on to see where Tommy had to check on him, make sure you're good. But Roly was leaving too. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to go with Roly. You know what I'm saying? The dude started talking shit to Roly. Okay, look. I mean, the, after all this shit, boom, done got heated up backstage. They telling us to get the from backstage. I'm like, I don't even play shit like this. Don't nobody tell me what to do. So let me just get out yeah, the way. You know what I'm saying? So I'm leaving. Left. I don't want no smoke. I don't even got time being in no drama with. None of them, none of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, we walked out the room, the dude started talking shit to Roly. Then I had to start beating the shit out of the way. You know, he took his stuff off and started running up and I had to beat the shit out of him. What's then, up with the needles? Then um we Ain't they took us all the way out. A whole group of people came. I started beating the shit out of them. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, they ain't got nothing. So we get back outside the police over here trying to see I what's want going you to on, talk bad to about Tommy. I don't give a f I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. So hold on, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Y'all are really delusional. He's let not here. Hold on, hold on, wait, let me no, tell my story. Hold on, I'm gonna let you finish. Let me tell y'all something. Nobody has to say nothing bad about Tommy because whatever I say is gonna go. That's how this works around here at the Zeus Network. If I'm not fing with you, you're not getting shit. Not a check, nothing. How you like them mother apples i'm getting a meeting today everybody acting like they got a problem with me what the f i do i'm not even knowing it's an issue i went to dinner came back went to bed yes it was y'all got up out of there and while we was trying to get up out of there we got attacked by three different from the back that's our problem no it's your problem and you never have no fault so you can go somewhere with that bullshit you don't i don't hear you don't i don't right now you don't i know you don't you always drunk or high up on something that ain't my problem about it is no problem i had to conduct yourself like a woman in public always do that and so a talking about oh you don't know how to carry yourself you don't know i asked you a question it ain't my fault if you get nervous every time a, a like me get near you the you nervous for i'm talking to you like a woman i say you have a problem with me what i did i don't want to talk right now tommy i don't want to talk not no we in a meeting this is the perfect time to talk what do you mean and the, and the reason why I can't rock with that, that zoo shit, because, man, they don't know how to cut it off. They getting complete strangers with no, absolutely no talent. So, of course, they feel like everybody coming at me. So that's the way to go. They, they getting a little bit of, you know, fame, a little bit of clout that we got to go at Tommy. I'm not going to play with y'all ever. I'm not. So if that's the thing and you think, like, we're going to be back cool, like how you 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 fought Natalie and we're going to be back cool after. I don't play like that. Once it's hands on, it's up. And it's stuck. I'm not about to, oh, yeah, we, uh-huh, uh No, I never had no situation with Natalie. We never got physical or nothing. She just talked shit. I don't care if talk shit every day. But now that you playing with my real livelihood, bitch, 
I don't carry myself like that. I'm, now I'm jealous of Rody. I'm jealous of you. Like, make it make sense, man. Cut that bullshit out. Stick to what the real motherfucking issue is. Bitch, you talk too much. You talk about everybody motherfucking business. You need to stop. Because if that boy Chris Brown and knew how you was talking about him, and I ain't even finna sell out like that, because I ain't finna put that man in it, he won't even nail with you ever again. And I ain't asked you for that information. You just be volunteering info on motherfuckers. And that shit corny. Yeah, it was. It wasn't no beef, for real. We was just gonna have a friendly motherfucking fight for the sport of it. It wasn't no beef. And now, if y'all wanna make this beef, I'm never gonna turn down. Ever. So, it is what it is. But don't go to Holland about no jealous and of what? That on my position. Why would I be jealous of Why would I be jealous of you? I've been with Zeus before you. The fuck is you saying? Love me when you get a one in the moves. I'ma just wait till you finish. Cause you make it bright when it's dimmest. I see the light in your spirit. You my spiritual healer. I felt the evil of woman. And it made me indifferent. Should have been treating you different.